here this subtraction of two algebraic expressions can be done by two methods but already we have performed one that is the horizontal method now we are going to perform the method called the column method this is the method number two which is the column method or in other words the vertical method whereas in this vertical method or the column method first of all we will arrange all the terms of the given two expressions in the same order then after arranging the expressions the terms of the expressions in the order that is the same order the later we will arrange or write the given two expressions in the row wise that to one below the other in such a way that by keeping the expression that is to be subtracted as in the second row the later we will change the signs of the second second expression that is in the second row as from positive to negative symbol and negative to positive symbol of the terms then finally we will add up all the like terms in the column wise in the column wise that's why it is said to be called as the column method or the vertical method so now we are going to perform we are going to know about the procedure about this method of subtraction of two algebraic expressions in this column wise then the two in a step wise manner let us write all the procedure so here that is step number 1 in our step number 1 we should arrange the terms of the expressions or terms of the given expressions in the same order the latter so in this manner as first of all we will arrange all the terms of the given two expressions in the same order then after arranging the terms of the expressions in the same order and in the step number 1 are in the step number 2 so we will write that is by writing the given two expressions in row wise so we will arrange all the i mean expressions two expressions in row manner that is i mean row wise Such that like terms false, or by arranging the like terms in a manner that one below the other, one below the other, and keeping the second expression which is to be subtracted. the expression to be subtracted in the second row so in this manner i say in the second step we will write all the given two expressions in a row wise manner one below the other such that by taking care that the like terms fall one below the other so so that i mean all the like terms come in the only one column so in the manner we will and we will keep the i mean second expression which is to be subtracted in the second row then later in the as the third step so we must change the signs of the second expression which is to be subtracted so we have to change the signs of the each term of the second second expression which is to be subtracted from positive to negative and negative to positive so here we should change the signs of the each term of the second row expression from positive symbol to negative symbol and negative symbol to positive symbol 
and finally as in the last step that is step number 4 step number 4 just we will add up so finally we will add the like terms in column wise so that is why it is said to be called as the column method or in other words the vertical method based upon these steps that is the procedure of the subtraction of two algebraic expressions in a column wise or the column method or the horizontal I mean vertical method let us perform one instance one illustration one example so you have for instance subtract phi p minus 3 q plus 2 r this expression must be subtracted from the sum of minus 8 p minus 3 q plus 5 r and 3 q minus 5 r. So, first of all we have to add up sum of the expressions that is minus 8 p minus 3 q plus 5 r and as well as 3 q minus 5 r then after getting the resultant expression from that resultant expression we have to subtract the first expression that is phi p minus 3 q plus 2 r. So, in this manner we will get the resultant expression. So, let us go for the solution. So, here as per the problem first of all we have to add up sum we have to add up the last two expressions. So, here as per problem since we are performing this subtraction in a column wise. So, here first of all we are going to add up these two expressions that is minus 8 p minus 3 q plus 5 r and as well as 3 q minus 5 r. We have to arrange these expressions in an order first of all p q r they are in order here q and r p is missing and here p q r they are already in order I say here. So, let us I mean write minus 8 p minus 3 q plus 5 r. So, this expression must be added to sum to 3 q minus 5 r. So, q so, it must be under q term. So, that is a like term 3 q of positive sign. So, plus 3 q and 5 r is of negative. So, negative 5 r. So, r and r is r I mean kept in a column wise say q and q are the like terms which are kept in the like I mean second column. Then now first of all we have to add up these two expressions. So, the symbol is of positive. So, here p term is missing we can write 0 in the I mean place of p term that is 0 p. So, here this is of so, here we can cancel up. So, it has no value at all. So, minus 8 p remains same. So, we have to add up from the left to right. Then now here minus 3 q and here plus 3 q. Since we are adding no need to change the signs of the second expression. So, minus 3 q plus 3 q will be gets cancelled. So, here all I mean plus 5 r minus 5 r will be gets cancelled because plus of minus is minus we have to sum, subtract 5 minus 5 is 0 0 r. So, here also plus of minus is minus we have to subtract 3 minus 3 is 0 q. So, here need not to write here then now this expression from this expression we have to subtract this is the resultant expression of the sum of the last two expressions. Then now from this resultant expression we have to subtract the first one phi p minus 3 q plus 2 r. So, here phi p is of positive minus 3 q and plus 2 r. So, here we have to subtract here. So, here in order to subtract the second expression terms signs will be changed. So, here plus becomes the minus sign which is the new sign and here minus sign as plus sign then now positive as negative. Here new sign is of minus and here sign 8 p sign is of negative and here the new sign which is assessed to 5 p is of negative minus of minus is plus we have to add up 8 plus 5 is 13 p. Then now among these two 8 and 5 8 is greater than 5 8 is sign is of minus. So, minus sign will be possessed here. So, here new sign is of plus 3 q there is none other here let us write as a plus 3 q as it is similarly minus 2 r is the new sign minus 2 r is the therefore minus 13 p minus 13 p plus 3 q minus 2 r is the solution. So, in this manner so I got therefore 
solution are the required solution is of minus 13p plus 3q minus 2r is the required solution so now in the similar manner let us perform one of the example that is example number 1 So in our example number one, subtract minus half p plus q minus r from the next expression that is half p minus one by three q minus three by two r. In order to subtract the first expression from the second expression, before going to the solution, let us perform one analogy. From this analogy, we will get one principle with that help with the help of that principle. So, we can perform the subtraction of minus half p plus q minus r from half p minus 1 by 3 q minus 3 by 2 r. So, here the analogy is subtract subtract 8 from 11. You have to subtract 8 from 11. If when 8 is subtracted from 11, that is 11 minus 8, the required I mean solution.